After 30 years of intensive research into catalyst and reactor technology, a new breakthrough, one that's both economical and environmentally sound, provides a solution to our world's energy and waste management problems. Now, for the first time, Green Power's low-cost, nearly emission-free process converts municipal solid waste into a high-quality synthetic diesel fuel that's cleaner burning than any other diesel fuel product on the market today. No more are we dependent on burying garbage. We can now fuel the country in a cost-effective manner, and it's the most exciting process I've ever seen in 28 years of being in the landfill business. If we convert this nation's annual landfill waste into diesel fuel, we'll have approximately 60% of our diesel consumption uh, supplied by a national resource we're currently throwing away. We can produce high quality diesel fuel for the market and we are continuing our research to be able to make gasoline and also jet fuel in the very near future. Green Power's catalytic depolymerization process, or CDP, is a highly innovative pressureless process that combines a safe and non-toxic crystalline catalyst to produce synthetic diesel fuel directly from solid waste. What once took Mother Nature millions of years to create can now be reproduced in a matter of minutes thanks to Green Power's CDP. We, in our process, don't generate any dioxins, fluorines going into the air. Greenhouse gases are eliminated and our fuel burns much cleaner than any fuel on the market. We have a higher C10 value, so this means the efficiency rate of a diesel engine is much higher as well. The CDP process is not dependent on landfills and is close to a zero waste process. I'm excited about that process because it provides a future for our kids. It provides a future for our nation, provides jobs in the country. In view of the dramatic rise in crude oil prices, Green Power's CDP process, with its nearly emission-free method, proves itself to be the most capable, the most environmentally friendly, and the most profitable recycling technology on the market today. Green Power's CDP process starts here, within the autoclave. This high-pressure steam-heated vessel sterilizes municipal solid waste in an odor-eliminating fashion using 300-degree steam with constant agitation and rotation. In roughly 45 minutes, the autoclave accomplishes what it takes a traditional landfill 300 years to do. The sterilized material is discharged from the autoclave onto a conveyor belt that feeds it directly into the rotary trommel screening process. Here, the raw cellulose material separates itself into a clean biomass that's transported to the processing area to be mixed with previously treated and separated plastics. And it's this mixture that becomes the feedstock for the CDP process. The remaining material inside the rotary trommel is fed onto another conveyor belt where a series of powerful magnets automatically remove steel, tin, and aluminum into separate bins. The process is designed to consume a variety of waste streams, including residential, business, industrial, municipal solid waste, and even animal waste. And unlike a normal landfill, CDP meets or exceeds the EPA emissions regulations. After all the metal, glass, and ceramic elements have been separated, the clean biomass is ready for the CDP process that will convert it into synthetic diesel fuel, all in about three minutes' time. The processed feedstock enters the hopper where it passes through the knife gate and is driven down into the lower reaction vessel by the feed auger. It arrives ahead of a heated stream of flowing catalytic cracking fluid, or CCF, from the upper reaction vessel. The catalytic cracking fluid splits the long biomass molecules into diesel molecules while creating harmless salts from the liberated halogens. The mixture is then pumped from the lower reaction vessel by the friction turbine. This helps to shred, heat, and pump the mixture through the throttling valve and into the top of the vapor separation vessel. Here, the mixture spins, creating a cyclone effect that wets all the sides of the vessel and causes the synthetic diesel vapors to work their way up th through the distillation column. The remaining liquid CCF mixture flows down into the upper reaction vessel and returns to the lower reaction vessel. The catalyst is fed for proper mixing, goes back through the friction turbine and into the vapor separation vessel. The synthetic diesel vapors are volatilized from the catalytic cracking fluid in the vapor separation vessel that percolates through the distillation column. Any light gases that percolate through the distillation column go 
overhead into the condenser, where steam vapors are condensed into water and diesel fumes into diesel fuel. Non-condensed gases are vented to the diesel generator's intake filter. Once the water and fuel oil have been condensed, they drain into the gas liquid separation vessel and are fed into the rough product tank. The rough product four tank system connects at the top and after the first tank fills, it overflows into the other three tanks in a cascading effect. The rough diesel product drains out of one of the four tanks and is suction pumped into the first contactor where the pH buffered water strips the acid from the fuel and brings the diesel fuel's pH balance up to DOT specifications. The diesel fuel is spun again, causing water and solids to sink while the fuel rises. A dam at the top splits the water and solids from the fuel. The water returns to the water storage tank and the fuel cascades into the second contactor where any remaining water is discharged and stored and the finished diesel fuel goes into the final product tank ready to be dispensed. Green Power's Cadillac depolymerization process is more efficient both in, in process layout, equipment simplicity, and ultimately in processing cost due to its nature of being a continuous process operating at lower temperatures and having a much higher yield per pound of material fed in. The car in the background is my personal Ford excursion and I run it on our diesel fuel. It comes out, out of our process and it's directly filled into my car. And when I bring it for service to my Ford dealership, the mechanic always says, oh, I never had a car that runs this well. What are you doing to it? And I don't do anything special to it. I make my services, but I use my own fuel. So I believe, you know, that's the reason why. It seems to be too good to be true, but we've seen it and it really works with lots of verification from independent laboratories all over the world, and seeing is believing. The Green Power CDP process is ideally suited for integration into current waste management operations now. New, reliable solid waste processing and distillation technologies combine to not only process everyday waste in a cost-effective manner, but to also convert what was once an expensive and hazardous liability into a safe, high-quality, and profitable energy byproduct. New things happen, we just have to believe that they can happen and that's why we put it out there and we won't be stopped. We do it, you know, for this country and to make sure that we have a future. Converting MSW into clean fuel, everyone thought was the future. The future is here today, it's being practiced every day and you will see it in every city throughout America in the next five years. Why be dependent on foreign oil? especially when we can eliminate landfills and derive the power we need from what we already throw away. We invite you to learn more about Green Power and its revolutionary CDP process, the economical and environmentally friendly solution to the world's energy and waste management problem.